men. What is some dating slash love advice you'd give women? The obvious ones. Be clear. Direct. Hints are for treasure hunts. Games are for children to play. Genuine comments carry huge amounts of weight. Some guys never get them. So surprising responses may occur. For the love of the almighty above. Pick where to eat once in a while. Genuine compliments? My biggest piece of advice. For both men and women. Is just stop dating bums. Mfas will jump into the worst. Most terrible. Toxic. Useless relationship with someone. Just because they are hot and or the sex is good. This person f sucks. But I can change them. If I just stick around long enough. And show them how much I care. They'll come around. Shut up. Stop. Just don't even get started. I feel somewhat qualified to say this. Because I've done it. And I'm here to say don't do it. Anything else I would think to add to this conversation has been stated already but other commenters so that's nice lol. Not even that. Just because they are terrified of being alone slash can't afford to live alone and maintain their lifestyle. Stay single. Stay alone until you are stable. Then y'all never worry about it. No batter feeling that knowing you never be financially trapped in a relationship again. I love the fact that I don't actually need anyone else. If people start bullshit I can show them the door and not have to worry. I'm glad I made the decision early yo suffer and grind until I could afford to buy on my own. Don't play stupid games if you don't want stupid guys. Fucking. This right here. This is more for the long term but show interest in his hobbies. If you can. Try joining him and if it's not for you then respect the time he spends on it. These are the types of comments I want. Marizo for long term. Serious dating. The guy I'm dating right now has his whole life centered around basketball. I'll watch the game with him, but I think learning more would make him happy. That would be cool, but you don't have to turn yourself into a basketball fan. It's enough if you respect it's important to him and give him time to indulge it, and he does the same for you. My last GF was really passive aggressive about anything she felt took time or focus away from her, whether that was hobbies, certain friends etc. That kind of stuff takes attraction off at the knees. My biggest tip is to not be afraid of asking guys on dates, being the first to break the touch barrier etc. Guys don't want to make someone uncomfortable or be called a creep, so a lot of us are, don't tend to risk anything. This. My female friends all wonder why I don't just start flirting with randoms if I think I like the look of them. But then they're solid sevens and it's just not that easy being a guy. For fear of being seen as a creep or weird I just don't bother. And ultimately I probably wouldn't have the nerve to do it anyway. Exactly. If I wanted to be yelled at and feel like crap, I can just go talk to my parents. If you are not ready for a relationship, don't geo into one. And if they aren't ready, believe them and let them go. If I could give them any advices that words mean things. If you say things like I love you, I'm so glad we met, I'm so happy with you etc. Then just dump us like we meant nothing to you. It's a little hard to stomach. This. So many guys I've dated tell me how much they like me. I'm so beautiful slash fun slash whatever and then they goes me and I'm gutted. Cause I truly believed the words they were saying. That's why these days I'm just focusing on actions not words. Always actions. Never words. Words mean nothing without action. Facts. Clear. Proper. Honest conversations. Don't expect too many things are implied or take them as given. Expect what you clearly say and communicate. Sex is a good thing. But don't go all my mal cover on him if that is not what you like and will stop it eventually. Practice what you preach. I just see so many women these days expecting so much from men that they are not willing to do themselves. A lot of the stuff you worry about tends to be just in your head or it's a matter of overthinking. Most men are not super nitpicky about as many things as women think we do. Just in general a lot of things didn't get off the ground with the women I fancied because of some form of self-sabotage from their end, along with expecting me to make up for their shortcomings. As a female I agree. I'm the type to do a man's job like change a light bulb or my car's oil. 
most women aren't it's confirmed for me. When women react in either shock or, or you did that. You don't. So what you just sit around with broken ass until a pee comes along. That's like a man starving until a female comes and cooks for him. I'm amazed at how many things humans assume they don't have to do based on the flesh between their legs. 1. Age and maturity aren't necessarily related. And a guy going on and on about how mature you are is likely manipulating you. Complimenting maturity is something you do to a child. No two adults ever compliment each other on their maturity. It's a given. Keep that in mind when seeing older guys. 2. Have standards. If a guy doesn't wash his or, or himself in general, refuses to wear a condom, doesn't respect your opinion or opinions, tells you how your feelings about something are wrong, etc. Just dump him. Don't waste your time trying to change idiots. 3. Communicate clearly. Fights and arguments should be solved, not won. If there's a problem, try getting to the source and deal with that as a team instead of trying to prove the other side wrong. Learn this. Apply this. Demand it as a requirement from a partner. 4. Don't marry young and don't marry before having had sex, having lived together and having known each other's families. Same for having kids. Obviously. 5. Have sex if you want to have sex. Don't have sex in the hopes of getting the other person to do something or to stop doing something. This includes committing to you or a relationship. I need to do better with Ash 3. Give us physical compliments. We love that shit. Reciprocate. Make him feel loved. Don't put up with cheating. Don't put up with abuse. Communicate what you want. Make compromises. If there is a problem talk it out. Don't date losers. Whatever Apu made a final loser as. If your needs are not being met, talk to him about it. If he comes to you saying his needs are not being met don't get mad. Don't be afraid to cut off toxic friends to better the relationship and lastly, if you are looking for a non-monogamy relationship let them know at the beginning instead of sprining it on your partner later into the relationship. This advice is not gender specific either. I really like it. Good. Carrot underscore carrot I thought maybe I was going to get downvoted into an oblivion. Don't play games and be direct. Some of us are oblivious when it comes to your hints and signals. If you like someone, let them know. Have hobbies and things to do besides spending time with him. Those hobbies should not be a shopping B, travel, or C, selfies slash social media. Choose a hobby that is fulfilling and adds value to your personality and style. I'll start with some non-gendered advice. If you're using online dating, the quality of your profile will influence the quality of people you match with. Most people put emphasis on and initially present with what they think gives them the highest value. Humor, intelligence, compassion, achievements, material wealth, physical attractiveness, sex. Be aware of what you present. Consider what you offer as a person, as a partner, as someone to date. Too many put emphasis on what they are looking for and wanting while completely ignore what they actually offer in return. If you're looking for something long term define your core values and seek someone who shares them. Be kind. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. If you are unkind, your partner has reason to believe that you can be unkind to them. When seeking a partner, consider people in terms of compatibility and not leagues. Make them laugh. Show interest in their interests. And some specifically from four women who are already dating men. Men appreciate the effort more than the outcome. Be romantic. Romance is something men usually do and rarely receive. What romance looks like for him will vary for each individual. If he chooses to be vulnerable with you, let him. If he chooses not to, let him. Show him you are safe. Respect his choice. Embody it and wait for him to be vulnerable in his own time. If ever, give and encourage him to spend time with his friends and hobbies. You cannot be his only social and emotional outlet. Don't live with the false notion. That men have to be the ones to always initiate sexually. If you are in a committed relationship you should feel more than free to express yourself it helps your man feel wanted and loved. If you look yourself into the mirror, are you actually someone she would want to initiate first? I have to go now. Have a nice day. If not she probably shouldn't be fucking dating me lol. I'm older so this will sound conservative but oh well. I think that hookups. 
FWBs. Such relationships etc trivialize the bond between a man and a woman. And I think at least sometimes they are what happens when people settle for less than what they want. It seems like they are recipes for hurt feelings, disappointment, and cynicism. And although online dating vastly expands one's dating pool I've noticed that women present themselves as if they are commodities. Like online shopping. I personally would like more genuineness. A sense of who the person is inside, not just what they like to do for fun. And fewer glamour shots. So I guess my only advice is, don't settle for less than what you want and be real. After all deep down everyone wants to be loved for who they really are as a person. Not for their dress size, or how they look in Mac Yoop and heels. Don't let the experiences you had with bad men let you treat good men badly. That part. The right person will love you for who you are so be 100% authentic. Take initiative for the love of God. If you're giving him the chance to do X that doesn't count. If you're giving him the chance to ask you out you're just standing around doing nothing. Ask him out. Give him flowers. Touch his butt. Guys want to feel wanted. Taking initiative towards him signals that they're wanted. I gave my boyfriend's flowers two times when we were not officially together yet. I should buy him flowers soon. Stop having unprotected sex with losers. Sounds simple but... I think you slash um lord had the best advice on here. But something I would like to add to his list. 6. Men want to feel wanted too. Men want to feel craved. Desired. Attractive. And wanted. Let your man know that he's wanted. Initiate affection. Plan dates. Tell him what you appreciate about him. Focus on being generally happy with yourself first. It will put you in a better position to make good decisions dating. It will make you more free to be yourself. And actually make sure the happy version of yourself is compatible with that partner. Different people show they care in different ways. Figure out how your partner shows they care. Make sure that works for you. And appreciate it. Likewise. Try to figure out what your partner values and try to fill that. Make sure to meet your partner's friends early on. A guy's friends say a lot about their character. A lot of guys. Particularly early on. Think of their friends relationships and compare them to their own. So it can be helpful to know a bit about that. And a guy who wants to keep you separate from his friends is a very big red flag to avoid. Either because he thinks his friends reflect poorly on him or because he thinks you reflect poorly on him. What men look for from a woman is, peace at home slash mind, compaction, loyalty, respect, partnership, covering their backs, in return they will give all that they have, all that they have it ain't much, but it's honest work. The easiest way to avoid players is to not sleep with anyone too early, the players will give up and move on. This may sound more like early relationship advice. But don't let them bowl you over and be so accommodating that you forget who you are and what are your wants slash needs. When it comes to them picking up on hints or expecting your partner to know or otherwise deduce what are your wants. Most men I know, myself included, are stunted with this type of intuition. Spell it out for them and you'll face less disappointment. Also, please don't fear judgment when being authentic. Don't be afraid to tell them who you are as you discover your changing and evolving self. Edit. For clarity. Date. Meet men. You have the advantage that few men will say no to you. Also. Take the risks of being told no. Let go of the thoughts that he is the one who must insist on me. He is the one who must convince me. Or that he have to be very beautiful and that he excites you to go out with him. Date a lot of men. This does not mean that you sleep with all of them. It just means knowing and placing filters on what you want in your life. Now, certainly at 21 years old it will be difficult for you to know what you want in a partner. Playing games will attract players. Be comfortable being alone and build your life the way you want it. Once you have done that, think about what your partner would need to be like to add to your life and then find that person. The same I give to everyone. If it seems too good to be true, it is until it is proven not to be by direct observation of behavior. Look up interviews with Elliot Rogers, Ted Bundy, and Edward Kemper. If you can't see through their superficial charm you really need some friends around you that can. 
who you will listen to. Also, I'm 40, at this age. I cannot imagine the circumstances under which I'd ever want to date a 21 year old again. If you're dating older, because you want a mature man. Remember guys date close to their emotional maturity level. Men who are mean to everyone but you will eventually be mean to you. Men who hit animals will hit you. Men who push you to violate your boundaries are grooming you. Not pushing you to explore your sexuality. You do that on your own agenda according to your own desires and imagination. That all being said, you will almost inevitably fail at some of this and put yourself in bad situations. If there's one regret, one source of shame I've heard from many women it is that they had to do things to placate men because they felt they were in danger. Same advice for boys. Stop thinking with your genitals. You will absolutely have other opportunities.